Friends and enemies, if you're looking for some KYC free Bitcoin that is cheap to get, easy, quick, no fuss, well, you're in luck. Because today, we had some news from Bull Bitcoin, and they are going to enable all of us Canucks out there to get our hands on this KYC free Bitcoin. Stick around because I'm going to show you the process because it is very simple to get and everybody should do it. Up until now, us Canadians have had a few different options available to us to get KYC free Bitcoin. And immediately what comes to mind is BISC and RoboSats. Although there is a technical hurdle that some people may not want to jump over because you have to understand and learn the process to buy from either of those platforms. So some people shy away from it and that's fine. And we've been talking about another option, which is much easier, which is ATMs, Bitcoin ATMs. And using it, it's much simpler. It's very similar to the traditional banking ATMs we're all familiar with. But the Bitcoin ATMs do come with the added challenge that it may not be readily available to you. You might have to do a bit of a drive to get it. And there's also the added cost associated with it. So you're not going to get as much bang for your buck, the much Bitcoin for your dollars because of the higher processing fees associated with the ATMs. So what options do we have now? Well, we have a new option that has emerged. Bull Bitcoin has come out and said that they are now officially a no KYC exchange. And it's easy to do. All you have to do is sign up for an account, no ID, no credit check, Bank required, not required, get that out of your head, not needed. All you really have to do is show up at a Canada post office with cash and you're good to go. It seems too good to be true. Well, not really, because that is the process which they have laid out in front of us. I'll do my best to show you how it is you can do it with very little resistance and obtain some KYC free Bitcoin. So I'll do my best to show you what is the process. And because we're going to be buying KYC free Bitcoin, one may want to go the added mile to exhibit good privacy habits. And this is strictly for educational purposes. I don't recommend doing this. And I also recommend to disclose all the Bitcoin that one purchases. This is strictly just for educational purposes only. But the first thing one may want to do is install a VPN. Uh, Proton VPN comes to mind. Mulvad comes to mind. I know Mulvad you can pay with Bitcoin. Just something that has a good reputation and, and does not have a checkered past. Then the second thing one may want to do is install a secure browser. Mulvad browser, Tor browser. So for this experiment, I'll be using the Tor browser. It's notoriously slow, but I can just show you what is the process to obtain your the KYC free Bitcoin from bull Bitcoin. So next step is let's just look at the, the price right now of Bitcoin. And as you can see, this is the spread. This is a really cool website. See spread.ca. I'll put the link to this in the description below. The price is updated every minute. So this goes to show you what's the price that you could buy and sell Bitcoin at the various exchanges and you can see bull typically is more expensive at the buy stage and then when you're trading for bitcoin it varies depending on five hundred dollars twenty five hundred and five thousand um, dollars and you could see that typically bitcoin well is the cheapest and bull is generally the most expensive but this is for the online buys when you're purchasing from an atm it's going to be a significantly higher so that's why through this whole process, buying through this method will net you more Bitcoin because it is a cheaper way of obtaining Bitcoin. So there you go. I just wanted to show you this really cool website. And Francis noted today that internal rule, this is with respect to bull Bitcoin, is you can only have one account per person. So don't make multiple accounts. It's Obviously, it's against the internal rules. They don't want people making multiple accounts uh, and trying to bypass the limit. 
they do recommend if you want to make a, another account to nuke slash delete the existing account. That way you will only have one account at a time. So this is just food for thought more than anything. So here's bull Bitcoin and we have to log in. I don't have a login. I have to sign in. So I'm going to sign up, go through the process. Takes a long time because, of course, it is Tor, notoriously slow. All right, so I'm going to have to provide an email, a password, confirm my password, and I'll be personal, not corporate. Temp mail, so you can just, if you want to just get a temp mail just to test it out, here you go. I'm going to copy that, and we blurred out for you, for unfortunately, for people that want to see what it is I have, what email I'm going to be using. So I enter my pass my email there, my password. I'll just type in a generic password. Let's see if this works. Uh, I'll type this one in again. And I'll sign up. And it's gonna send me an email to confirm. I mean if you could want to do that, you can. You could go back to your email and you could see you got an I had an email from Bull Bitcoin, and from there I could click on the link and complete the sign up on Bull Bitcoin once it loads up. It's very, very slow. Obviously, Tor, so I could validate my email. And voila, it's been validated. Yay. I don't think this process is necessarily required, but I could just show you this is the process that you could do. You could set your first name and last name, so. Uh, I'll just type in a name, save my name, and there you go. So now I have my name in there. I have verified my email. That's all you really need to do. So the next step is you go ahead and you can buy Bitcoin. Now, you're not going to buy Bitcoin directly from here. You have to fund your account somehow. So the way to do that is you go to buy Bitcoin and you go fund your account scroll down you'll see cash or debit at canada post very cool and it tells you the instructions right here so to fund your bull bitcoin account with cash or debit no kyc required go to any canada post location ask the cashier to scan the load hub qr code which is this Tell the cashier the amount you want to load between $10 and $999.99. You don't want to get to the $1,000 limit because then KYC is applicable. Pay with cash or debit card, cash preferable. The cashier will print a receipt. Keep it as a proof of payment. The funds will be added to your bull Bitcoin account within 30 minutes. I've been hearing it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to get to your bull Bitcoin account and you're ready to buy Bitcoin. So when you do this, you bring this QR code. The QR code does not change. You do not share this with anybody. So you go to Canada Post, you bring this QR code in one shape or another, either printed copy, have it scanned on your phone. I don't care how you do it. Just bring this to Canada Post, bring them money, tell them how much you want to, to load up on the load hub, say $100. And you're going to have to pay a fee on top of that. The fees are $3.50. This goes to Canada Post, by the way, not Bull Bitcoin. $3.50 for amounts $10 to $500 and $3.95 for amounts $500 to $1,000. Note, you cannot buy Bitcoin on Bull Bitcoin for less than $100. So if you're going to load up anything, load up $100 plus the $3.50 fee. So there you go. Once you do that you'll be ready for the next step. So I went to my local Canada post and I followed the instructions to a T and it took 11 minutes for the money to show up in this account. And this uh, little bell icon highlighted when the money showed up. So now I'm ready to buy some Bitcoin. So it's how to buy it. You click on the buy Bitcoin tab at the left side. And you can see how the money that you have in your account. My balance is here. And I just add my Bitcoin address, my wallet address here. You obviously don't want it because it's KYC free Bitcoin. You don't want to mix your KYC and KYC freed stuff in any wallet. So try to segregate it as much as possible. That's uh, obviously for 
educational purposes only and you click buy Bitcoin order or create Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin order. You wait for the next screen to show up and you click on, you can just took a look at everything to confirm everything is fine. Um, the advanced details, I'm not going to go into that. Just go to confirm purchase and that's it. You're good to go. And you just wait it out. It's going to take some time, time remaining until next transaction, six hours. So it's scheduled for withdrawal status. And that is that. So very simply, that is how you purchase KYC free Bitcoin from Bull Bitcoin using the recently instituted method by using Canada Post. Really cool, simple. And you're buying them. It's the best bang for the buck. You're going to get the most Bitcoin from your purchase. Now, I just want to state that if you follow these instructions and you lose your money, again, this is for educational purposes only. I don't want to be held responsible for everything, anything that's with respect to what I've done here. If you follow these instructions, do so at your own risk. You may not get your Bitcoin, but obviously it works for me. Another thing I just forgot to mention is that the email address that I got from the temp email that's the email address I'm using for this account. I'm going to delete this account immediately thereafter. It was just strictly for testing. But if one wants to keep it, they could do so. But keep in mind, you may not get access to that email account moving forward. So if you need to use that email account for some any which way, shape, or form, you may not get access to it. So just keep that in mind. So it's better just to use a regular email. It obviously makes sense. Some people would say use a throwaway email address but uh, that's again it's up to you to decide what's best for you and is this better than going to an atm it's subjective but if you're trying to get the most bitcoin for your dollar yeah it probably is uh, for a number of reasons uh not just getting the most bitcoin for your dollar but also it's i think it's more convenient for me the closest atm is several kilometers away like i don't know how many uh 10 ish Maybe give or take, maybe a little more. And the closest Canada Post for me is walking distance. So based off that, I could easily just go walk to Canada Post and have this done. It does take a little bit longer to get the Bitcoin in my wallet, but there's a trade-off somewhere, and that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions or comments, concerns, anything, leave them below. I'll be happy to answer anything you may want to throw my way. It's a relatively simple process, unfortunately, for those outside of Canada, not available to you. This is a Canadian-only product. So the whole thing is quick, painless. It works. It's KYC-free. Yeah, it does take a little bit of time to have it end up in your wallet, but who cares? It's KYC-free, and it's the best bang for your buck. So with that, take care, and we'll see you next time I do one of these videos.